All right. Hello, everybody. Today we are joined by my wonderful two-year-old, and we are also joined with a new learner. Uh, I'll let you uh, just say hello real quick to, from our new our newbie. If you could just say hello and just tell everybody your name. A-U-L. Yes. Yeah. Welcome. I'm glad you joined us. And um, we will be learning today about how to manipulate arrays with pop. Yesterday we used okay. push. Okay. And uh, we've dealt with arrays, accessing arrays, accessing uh, individual parts of the arrays, working with nested arrays. So this is a nested array here. We've dealt with how to access you know, each element within the arrays, how to make them populate using console log. And then we have um, worked with how to push a new piece to the array. That was yesterday. And then now uh, we're gonna be working with pop. And yeah, as we can see in this example, it's gonna take the three and now I will no longer be part of the array. So would anybody like to volunteer to read the, the lesson for today? I think <clears throat> Jamal can do that. Yeah, okay. Can I read it? Uh, by sharing for... or just from my... Yeah, I think you need to share the screen and read the same time. Yeah, go ahead and click the share button. Okay, yeah. And then we'll follow along. Yep. <clears throat> can you see it? Yeah. Okay. And just switch to your free code cam. Yeah, it's free code cam. Have you shared and just the Discord? Um, no, we just share oh. only the Discord. Oh, okay. Yeah, I would suggest. Yeah, when you say switching yeah. your share to okay, I have the to entire see. desktop. Okay. <coughs> Share. Then you need to select the frequent time. Yeah, I think it would be the first option. Or, or you could just the do white the, one, white board or something. Do do the switch uh, switch to the desktop because that way, if you need to switch between VS Code and your browser. I have to switch to desktop first. No, first open the frequent time. Open yeah, it. I in opened it yeah. Yeah, so we, when it's open, then go to share here. Yeah. Then it will show you which window that you want to share. So I think now you can select the. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I there's think an option got... to select. Uh, uh, yeah. What about now? Yeah. Yeah, we go. can see. We can see. That's good. Okay, so uh, uh, today we're going to start with uh, this exercise: basic JavaScript manipulating arrays. Push an uh, easy way to append. I think we did this one, right? Oh, with push, I think yeah. it was with pop. We're right? supposed to start from pop today, yeah. And I think it's the very next uh, exercise. The next exercise, pop. Okay, <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna start today with manipulate arrays with pop. Another way to change the data. In an array is with the dot pop function. Dot pop function is used to pop a value off of the end of an array. We can store this popped off value by assigning it to a variable. In other words, pop function removes the last element from an array and returns 
that element. Any types of entry can be popped off of an array, numbers, strings, even nested array. So they provide an example that there is var three array, it contains three integer numbers, one, four, six, and var one down that removes from the three array if we append the pop function. Three array dot pop function will reduce the array, the last array number six and it will remain one and four. So the exercise is we are going to use the pop function to remove the last item from my array, assign the popped off value to remove to remove it from array. Okay. <clears throat> uh, do I have to solve it from here or do, are we going to talk about it? Hello, Elif. Sorry, I was talking and I had muted myself. <clears throat> okay. But uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and give it a try. Uh, keep, uh, keep, just, um, just solve it. As you're solving it, talk through what you what you're thinking. Yeah. Well, before uh, you go to the before you go to the exercise, yeah. Uh, pop it removes the the last element of an array. Yeah. And it returns the one which is removed, right? Not the one which is uh, exist. It returns the removed element of the yeah. array. Yeah. For example, from the three array, if we make this pop, it will return one. And no, it will return the remove the number six, right? Yeah. Okay. And okay. if we okay, if we want to have the the remaining elements of the array, then we we just have to call the the array. Okay. Like. Okay. That. Yeah. Uh, okay. So we have here our array, which is one, two, three, and var removed from our array. We just append the pop function, and then it will give us one and two. So now the question is that my array should contain John and 23. So we need to remove the cat and two. So, so we will my array dot pop. This should give us. So if we console log the my array, it will return the, the removed one. So cannot read property of zero. Uh, what, oh. about, uh, oh. what about if we want to remove one of the element from the next, like from the second element of the array? Okay, fix this one first and this. Yeah, uh, it said yeah, that I would. Um, we are going look to at your uh, remove double array. From my array, it's undefined, so it needs to be assigned something. That's uh, that's so what it's my array. Is double, it's uh, my array is what what you call it? it's double. It's not like single array. It's a two dimension. Yeah, it has it has two. Yeah, it's a. An array with nested arrays. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is my array dot pop. I think it should remove this one, right? Even if it's in the second. Look, look at the error there. What is yeah, the error? Yeah, the error said that is undefined. Cannot read. Yeah. Can you see it? Yeah, and then look at look at the the prompt. What is it saying? The question uh, that use pop on my array. Yeah, and then then the remove from array should contain. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's a thing yeah, through that. The should contain this. Okay. Yeah. We're so at the end of the start. day, it should have John twenty three. That's but that's all it should have. 
Okay, is this how they want it? Yeah, and then, yeah. Okay. You can leave that there, leave that there, and then copy it. And yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, put, no, uh, yeah, pull that back up there. Yeah, close it, yeah. Put it on 10, and then put it on yeah. uh, 12 as well. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, do console log on 12 as well. Yeah, okay. So that way we can see um, what it was before and then after the pop. <clears throat> yeah. Not just console, yeah. So, uh, yeah, no, that's yeah. Cool. okay. Uh, what about if we want to remove, for example, only cut? Yeah, only give that cut. a try. <laughs> yeah, this is this is this is uh, the part where we uh, yes, now, sir, we, once we solved it, we just try to toy around and like test ourselves, yeah. like how well we do we to, really know? We need to pop. pop. We need to pop well, cut. Uh, you cannot say pop in here because uh, pop only removes the last element. So if you want, uh, to, uh, that's a good point. Then yeah, if you want to remove. Pop like slice, slice, yes. Maybe. Slice is the best option. Oh. <coughs> Aha, trick question. Good, <laughs> good job, Mason. <laughs> Should we slice it? That was totally unintentional. No, well, we don't need to do slice now, but I was thinking if we can put some kind of index number inside pop, like, you know. No, 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 pop, pop, yeah. pop, it just, it just, uh, pop, it just, uh, Remove the last element of that. Yeah. yeah, nothing more. And push it pushes an yeah. element to the last yeah. element. Yeah. yeah. Any question? So if you want to like uh, which element you push or which element you want to you have to you have to use slice slice or nothing. More. Yeah. Slice or splice? I think there are two splice or splice. I yeah, think. I think the only difference is what they return or something, but otherwise they do the same thing. Yeah, yeah. So moving on. So would slice, if slice would remove from the beginning? Uh, wait, wait. Uh, uh, slice, it takes an argument that it can, it can uh, delete, remove an element of in an array. It can be like an argument that let's say that you, you tell that, hey, slice, go to this array and uh, delete the third element, for example. Okay. Out of five elements. Why don't we but give that a stab for cat? Use, so we would use bracket notation to yes. Yes. drill so down to the cat. and Yeah, you have to go to the okay. one's position. One's position of my array. Yeah, one and then the zeroth. You go to my one's position and then you go to the zero. This zero should be sliced. Yeah. And sliced uh, I think this editor element. is limited. Uh, slice. Yeah, he has to write slice, maybe. Yeah, like this. It should. Try. Now um, yeah, it will no. slice. Uh, yeah. What? No, it didn't slice. Anything. I think the editor might be limited, but yeah, it could be. Yeah. This is where. Uh, yeah, go ahead and um, copy yeah, and paste think, that. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get and it. Put that in your editor. Okay. Okay. Uh, what about? Uh, like from line one to twelve. Yeah. Just get the whole. Yeah. Uh, well, no, Do you can see I if I open slice. a new one? You still see, right? Yeah. Yeah, we can. Uh, why don't I? Uh, did I share the repo with you? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Go to that. Go to that repo and. Um, uh, okay. Which repo? Yeah, I'm gonna put it in the chat. Go to this repo and. Let, one second, let me, yeah, okay. Yeah, you should be able to fork this and it has up to pop. So. Check on the chat, on the chat. And chat. access Elliot's branch because that's, uh, uh, 
Ah, in the chat room, in the Zoom chat? Zoom chat, yeah. Zoom I put chat. it in the Zoom I chat. Cannot, I, I can't see it. it. I don't know where it is. Yeah, you have to click uh, the little... There's uh, a little open. button, uh, like a hover over the view options. Ah, okay. view option. Yeah, and then you should have the ability to access the chat from there. It should have turned yellow. Like there's a little yellow button. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got it now. Okay, yeah. Yeah, and then okay. go to that yeah, link. I guess, yeah. Now you can see the link, right? Yeah. Okay. And then so you want to from it. here, go to the master branch and change that to Elliot's branch. Branch, okay. Yeah, and then oh, I fork, this. fork that. Yeah. And then... Once you forked it, then you need to <coughs> clone it. Oh, yeah. clone this. Okay. Yeah. I guess you can see. Can you see the terminal? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think you can. You can use straight to the on the visual code. Yeah. Okay. Go to your VS yeah, code. I have. Uh, okay. So I can clone it here. Do you have your uh, sharing? set up so that we can see more than just uh here's that j j study group yeah but we cannot see what you are doing now yeah we oh. can only see uh github we just only see the github so i yeah. i can share all is there a way that to share all yeah you can share your desktop so whatever desktop. you're looking at okay, that's a good thing yeah yes, what about we... now <clears throat> yes there we go yeah, yeah. Now we okay now now this is now I'm in the <coughs> okay. Yeah, I think you need now to change. Gonna, yeah, now I'm gonna open. It. Okay, can you see now? You need to create a branch. Now oh. you're on this one. Yep, that's <laughs> okay. Git. Can branch. I say status and see? Can I say just git branch? Git branch dash b is it? Your brand, your name. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, edit. Okay, so check out. Keep, keep keep check out. Oh. Check out. Then my name. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Now I can open it. Okay, so um, so you mean the index in here? Um, okay, yeah, this is all the one. All the one. Yeah, <clears throat> because I think you are on the master. Yeah, I can add app.js, then we can work in here. Uh, no, 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 uh, I mean like uh, you fork it and you clone it, but when you clone, you clone the master one not uh, the one that uh, is branch. I don't see, uh, like, you know, we did a lot of huh? exercise here on the HTML. Can you go back to the GitHub? Yeah. GitHub page. Yeah. So, But he said that I have to clone it to his name. Uh, change to his, change uh, to the branch. This is a master. Yes, I, yeah, this is his. Now, yeah. you see how this one is different. Now clone this one. Ah, I just forked this one from here, from him. Let's do this way. It's like, uh, can you do like this? I'll fork this one, but I have, to, when I clone, you are right. I have to change like this. Yeah. I think in here that I have to remove. Okay. 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 Study group. Now it should. Okay. No, so now, uh, do I have to make the same? The okay. Go to open it with the command uh, on the visual. No, I have to. Yes. 
you have to go to it first. Study group, um, okay. Now git checkout. Branch, checkout. Yeah, so you mean this? Okay, open this one on the code. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I don't know. Mm. Can you close this one, this visual code, yeah. and open again? Yeah. Look, this at the. Okay. Now there is index and style. Let's see now. Still the same. Yeah. Okay. Let's do this way. Can we clone it from the visual code? Don't use the terminal now. Yeah. Don't use a terminal. Okay. Uh, go to GitHub. Yeah. GitHub. No, not here. I mean, on the GitHub, the web. On the web. Yeah. yeah. Mm, copy from the app, yeah. like from the URL address. The yeah. URL address, not that yeah. one. App from here. Yeah. Oh, copy. No. App from the URL address. Oh, yeah. From here. Copy that one. Yeah. Okay, go to your visual code. Uh, cl clone. clone. Yeah. Repository or just? Clone, clone, yes. Yeah. Now paste it. Yeah. Enter. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Put it um, where do you want to put it? Okay. Uh, it will be okay. Okay, I will put it here. So you know where it is. Okay. Um, then why is it i don't see anything like where i want to put it here but uh, it didn't say anything what that git clone means like from here huh? you are cloning straight like straight to your local machine yeah because what i see here okay or yeah but can you go back come here down like you know you, your name down can you see here yeah down in the in the left left side yeah no. the left side my name yeah yes uh next to that yeah no no same uh, cover. yeah yes click that one let's see when it's finished then maybe it, it, it might be Sinking or something. So it's still sinking. Yeah, strange. Uh, I think it's uh, this one is the same with it. Uh, it's not the same. If you go back to GitHub and see this yeah. index page from his branch, yeah, yeah. Index yeah. Uh, okay, the HTML doesn't have anything. Yeah, index. Uh, then where is the task? Here. Look, the HTML here is the same. Like, look. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this. <laughs> so you need to get this file. Yeah, but this is amazing. I mean, if you just clone or download, huh? yeah, and download and see. Yeah, the download has it. Yeah. Just do like that. Go to that file. Yeah. Just download it. Open it from the, your visual code. Create yeah. your new branch. Then come. But why this uh, this uh, oh, yeah. doesn't give me? If the download gives me this one. Yeah, I don't know. Can this you open the, the one you download already? Can you open with the yeah. visual code? Yeah. Yeah. Let me 
Let's try this. Let's see the downwards. Yeah, okay, this one I can just cut it. So then. Mm. I can put it here. Okay. Yeah. So this is the file. No. Uh, I, guess I have to create the uh, git. No, you just open it uh, with the visual code. You can do it the the branching also from there. Okay. Yeah. Now this is the file. Okay. Exactly. Now go. Uh, uh, okay. Should we go git clone. Uh, not no no the clone is done because clone misses you have already the file on your machine. Yeah, but uh, I have to create maybe branch. you have to go to terminal and git yeah. int in it. Yeah. It's there is all already uh, git. Oh, there is no okay git in it. Or just git in. Yes. Now okay. now there is the in it. Okay. Okay. Now create a new branch. Yeah. Branch. Ah, okay. I have to create another git branch. Uh, I see. Okay. I cannot create. Uh, why not? Because not a valid object name master. Yeah, it's not master. Okay. Can you go down here and click on that master on that left corner on the down? Go down. Uh, where here? Yeah. Right click there. Yeah, I create. Create a new branch. Can you click here? Create a new branch. Yes. Write your name there. Okay. The same thing. Cannot be created from it. Commit. Maybe can you do manually a git or I mean hmm? push. Git again, you push. You push to the master. Uh, is it like git status, for example? There is here. It's like totally different. Like, but uh, you already forked it, right? It's then it's but okay. It's, yeah, 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 can, yeah. Like, do it. Like you can add. Git add. If I if I show you this one, like git remote dash p, there is no any remote. Yeah. Yeah. So in this manner, I have to uh, yeah. like type git uh, branch and see if uh, the branch exists. Now there is no any git branch. Yeah. See what branches are there. There is nothing. <laughs> Okay, no. No, you uh was that for the um yeah no, there is no any git. So there's no there there's no branches. Yeah. That's interesting. <clears throat> you forked it there. Yeah, I can show you in my git. It, this is like An index HTML and just the, Manually copy it. Then this is this is the the one that I forked. Is yeah. it the same? But there is no uh, JS file. Okay, I would go but to. I have to change it to. Yeah, change it to Elliot's branch. Yes, this one I can. I can go to the index HTML, yeah. and um, yeah, okay. I would just copy and paste. Uh, I can now. I think now it's. I can okay. do this. I guess. I can get okay. 
it should give me up this now. Yeah, there uh, it doesn't it doesn't clone the the branch. It only cloned the master. Okay, type in master. get branch now. Okay, it should be inside then. Then only master. Man, that's weird. I didn't realize it. It only takes the master. It's <clears throat> camping. Can you? Is it because you didn't uh, pull request to the master? Master didn't add it. Yeah, um, that that could be case. That's what I was thinking because <clears throat> you know, we don't have access to the master. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shrikant, Shrikant is the oh. owner. Mm. Can you? Is there a way to just copy the HTML? Yeah, yeah. I ha that we, have HTML? we have it here. Like, uh, we have it in the download. Just yeah then what i would do is um i create and then push it delete it delete the current one like just manually and then um put the copy of the new index html in there okay and then just open it up in your editor okay uh okay now now this i deleted and this is the this is the the downloaded one and should I from my from my fork do I have to delete? Yeah, open. Um in the master I think you would have to. Ah, but I don't have the master. Okay. So we can <laughs> we can use this you, you have the, you have your version of the master. Yeah. yeah, the but it doesn't have any master. Uh, I can show. This is what I have now. Okay, now this is the downloaded one. <coughs> yeah, can you open this one? can work from here. Uh, yeah, good. Uh, so which now? Can you create a branch? Or you can from here because there is no any branch i cannot create you? No. even there is no any there is no git yeah git in it, git in it. yeah initialize uh, yeah okay, repository no. there is no one okay so now create, create your own branch now git branch <clears throat> okay it doesn't because there is no master <laughs> there is one solution I can create like this in my in my repository and then connect it like yeah uh, I think I think yeah he may have to do that yeah I have to do it like that this one I, I think... can create this and then connect it this is now because I did get in it and I I can add this. Now it's added, and then git status. This is git add git commit. So initial commit. Initial. Yep, now it's added and git push. Now it will. Okay. Um, it turned green, so I think that. Uh, yeah, I have to. You need to get git. git push origin master. Yeah, yeah, I don't know why sometimes. No, the first time at least once you have to do like that, then after that you don't need. Now it, it pushes. Okay, now this is a new repo, but I have to create branch now yeah create the branch now it's it's okay then git okay. checkout yeah yes 
open it with visual code no then we have it here we go okay so uh in the index.js yeah good well, <laughs> finally <laughs> no 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 uh, just close this thing and open again like i'm not sure it is you are on the right project uh, well, this is the project if i ls it look it's okay, it again but can we see the index.js it's empty <laughs> huh? nothing yeah it's empty still we are messing up with the master so somebody has to take care of the master pull request from Elliot and then it will merge it other than that we can't have updated version of index.js what okay. we can do is just now uh, to copy paste from Elliot Mm, yeah, copy paste it. Copy it from the free for camp. Yeah, I don't know where is the chat. Yeah, I want to go to here and then, and then mm, I want to copy the index or throw. No, there's nothing here. Zero. Wow. Nothing. That means this is the master. That's true. That's true because you have to. Okay, this is index. Oh, I don't know, Elliot. What's going on? No, this is not your your GitHub. Hey, go back to this is not this is Elliot GitHub. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I want to copy from Elliot oh, okay. index okay. Yeah, because I don't have. There's it. nothing. Yeah, Zero. It, it's all in Zero index. HTML. <laughs> Oh, not in the dot js. You mean it's all everything is in, in the index dot, dot html? Yeah, it's in the html, not in the in js. Case, then, in that case, then, yeah, case, here it then is. We were right then in the beginning because if I showed you now, uh, If I showed you now the cut index dot html, yeah, okay, yeah. we were okay, we were wrong. Then. Here we are. Yeah, no. Sometimes you have to do it wrong to figure out how to do it right. Now, now this is index. Yeah, now you're in the right. No, okay, this is the okay. So uh, you were finally, right. yeah, yeah. Well, we were right from the beginning. You know? <laughs> <coughs> oh shit. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's good. Okay, so we were doing. You need to copy this and paste it there. The manipulate pop. Yeah. yeah. I think I already did. It says start. Ah, tomorrow. you did. Okay. Yeah. That uh, the question was. Uh, no, just copy the, the solution. I think the question. You know, we can get it to it. Yeah, this is the question was. Uh, yeah. Okay. So. What was our question? I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember what we were trying to do. How do we? Yeah. Uh, we're gonna slice cat. Yeah. Okay. Did you come so, up with something? No, I think. We don't have to do that one because um, anyway we'll get it uh, the slice thing from uh, that will be next one the next one okay we we'll just yes. move on right let's yes. save this one to make sure you everything is on github then move on okay let's, yeah I, I just saved it and then do that trick yeah i'm gonna <laughs> what <was that? laughs> uh you can write the title of the 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 ah, okay yeah yeah you are right uh this one copy and paste it yeah That's good, and then, That's and then I will sync yeah. it. Good. Yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> submit this one. Uh, remove this slice thing. Yeah, I think this should go. Yes. Okay. Move on. No, please don't. 
<laughs> any 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 question like you are Kara Asbun? Yeah, do you have any questions? Um, I was just adding mine. Okay, so now we're at shift. I I think we're good. We can move to the shift now. Yeah, to the shift. Okay, basically, uh, the shift is the pop always removes the last element of an array. What if you want to remove from the first element of the array? That's where the dot shift comes in. It works just like the pop, except it removes from the first element instead of the last. Use dot shift function to remove the first element of my array, assigning the shift to off value to the removed array. Okay. So just to remove it would be my array dot shift just called. Yeah, so I need to run it. Where is it? Shift. Yeah, you misspelled that. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't shit, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, uh, man. Uh, That's funny. Running. Hey, yeah, <laughs> can you elaborate a little bit? Yeah, yeah. We, we're going, yeah uh, so we, they give us an array, our array, which has string, Simpson, a letter J, and a cat word and var removed from our array would be like if we just implement our array there's dot shift it will remove the simpson and then it will remain only the other arrays so the question is that we're going to run shift function on the my array uh in the my array uh, function so the removed array will have this variable will contain the shifted of the my array so it means that it will eliminate the john 23 so the dog and three will be left okay so if we were doing the pop it will remove the dog and three uh what else yeah the, basically yeah. that the same thing except that they remove the the position the of the elements yes the beginning and the last yeah. yeah, so do I have to take this? Okay. Um, okay, good. <clears throat> okay, unshift. Manipulate array with unshift. Not only you can shift elements off of the beginning of an array, you can also unshift elements to the beginning of an array. That is, add elements in front of the array. Dot unshift works exactly like push, but instead of adding the element at the end of the array, unshift adds the element at the beginning of the array. Okay, so uh, push and unshift are the same. So <clears throat> what I have uh, like a trick that to remember, there is a U letter between push and unshift. That means they are adding push adds from the last and unshift adds from the beginning. That's how I remember them. There is U letter. Okay. So add this array, Paul and certified to the beginning of my array variable using unshift function. Okay, so they give us an example, our array, Simpsons, J, the cat. And if we run the shift function on our array, it will, it will remove the first one. If we make unshift, it will add happy to the beginning of the array so we're asking that to unshift this array to the my array 
Okay, so my array dot I shift this should give us why is it can you show us down like uh, ah, okay. I cannot see down okay, which one like the it's okay it says okay uh we have to add this one now oh, my mistake not not uh, i have to add this one so i shift paul and 35 would be added to my array but my array is already shifted like the john in 23 is already missing yeah now if so, you console then john and 23 is gone already and you instead of John and 23, you put a new array element. Yeah, yeah. Put there and also after the unshift. Yeah. In this case, uh, we can see that uh, it didn't. Why it's not like printing? Anyway, yeah. Uh, so any question regarding unshift? Yeah, uh, are you think, committing? I think I get it. Um, Did you commit? Yeah, I'm, I'm commit. Now I will commit now. Okay. Uh, no, I have to write. Uh, you didn't also comment on the previous one, but it's okay. Okay, I would do them both same. No. Okay. Okay. Um, is there like something you want to say about four of those four functions of array? Why we, we couldn't see the result on the console? I don't know because uh, I mean they, they they did it like that, not not to print. Um, swipe your uh, code there on twelve and thirteen and copy that. Twelve and thirteen, yeah. Yeah, cop copy that. Uh, tw copy yeah. lines twelve and thirteen. Copy yeah. it and then reset all your code after you copy it. Yeah. Yeah. Reset it and then yeah. uh, paste that in. Yeah. yeah. There. Okay. Sometimes, sometimes I've found you just have to reset the code. Is it that like? <laughs> um, oh. Yeah. It tracks something like that. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, <laughs> there might be some kind of glitch in the JSON on uh, uh, the free code camp side. Okay. <clears throat> but yeah, you you did it. I mean, you did that answer. You good. Okay. <clears throat> shopping list. Okay. All right. <clears throat> okay. Shopping is created. Shopping <laughs> One moment. I was gonna yeah. check with Kara and see. Did uh, did Kara have any questions? If she's with us, was this making sense, Kara? She may not be by her computer. <clears throat> I was just going to give her a chance to ask a question. She must not be near her, near her phone. Uh, That's okay. We'll continue. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, uh, how far <laughs> are we? <laughs> oh, so we are in shopping list. <clears throat> okay, we are here. Oh, well, maybe halfway. <laughs> no, no, just go down. We are somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I think we're, we're about we're, we're here, shopping list. All these are done, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so, should we continue? Yeah, keep going. Okay, yeah. Uh, creating a shopping list in the variable my list. 
the list should be a multidimensional array containing several sub arrays the first element in each sub array should contain a string the name of the item and the second element should be a number representing the quantity like like this chocolate bar and quantity 50 there should be at least five sub arrays in the list okay um we can create uh, any just love something banana <laughs> okay <laughs> two kilos what you mean numbers right yeah it doesn't matter just write banana and then you can say two five kilo actually just uh, it doesn't matter they don't have like five okay uh, I don't think they have something that okay so just creating a two-dimensional array anything you want to add I'm going to commit it on the uh, on the test. Yeah, it looks already passed on the test. Yeah. On the test. Yeah, all tests uh, because they are just checking like if you have five sub arrays that and every element in the array should be string and the array number. Yeah, kind of. Okay, there was something like uh, always or something, right? You can say that. Don't show again. Then I think Don't show again. Yeah. the first one. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> oh, now we are in the function. Write reusable JavaScript with function in javascript we can divide up our code into reusable parts called functions here is an example of a function that the function keyword and the function name and then the body you can call or invoke this function by using its name followed by parentheses like this function name and then parentheses that if you are calling the function each time the function is called it will print out the message hello world on the dev console because it's just logging hello world in the body of the function name all of the code between the curly brace will be executed every time the function is called so our task is to create a function called reusable function function reusable function and then curly brace and then the body <clears throat> so they want us to print hi world console.log hi world Run this. Um, uh, you need to call the function. Yes. yes. It invoked the function. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is there any question regarding declaring a function? and function are first class citizen in javascript it means that you can assign 
functions to a variable and you can pass them as an argument to other functions so that makes it javascript unique from other languages with this regard okay mm, moving on yeah move on move. passing value to a function with argument parameter are variables that act as a placeholder for the values that are to be input to a function when it is called when a function is defined it is typically defined along with one or more parameters the actual value that are input or passage into a function when it is called are known as arguments here is a function with two parameters param1 param2 this is a keyword function and the function and test function and the parameters are param1 and param2 and the body of the code is like just logging the parameters which are passed to the test function then we can invoke test function and then by passing two arguments when you when you invoke the function we call this an argument but when you declare a function we call them a parameter parameter and argument sometimes they are interchangeable we have passed two arguments hello and world to a test function inside the function the paramount will be assigned the first argument and the parent will be assigned the second argument note that you could call this function again with different arguments and the parameter will would take on the value of the new argument create a function called function with args function with args which is okay that accepts two arguments i can say arg okay to param one par two and it will output the sum cons log par one Plus part two. Um, so we have to call the function and pass the the arguments. I think uh, call the function with two arguments. Okay, I can pass two and three. Oh, sorry. yeah so we can see the test so the parameters they are like uh, they're a placeholder uh -huh. like you just put them because later we use them we use uh, as argument well parameter means when when you declare a function the one that you put are parameters. These are like a placeholder for the argument. An argument is an actual value, which is number two. It's an argument, actual value. But parameter is a variable. It's not a value. It's a placeholder. So param will be assigned a value two, and param two will be assigned a value three. Yeah, I want to hear from you. Is still here? You in? 
Okay. Um. You really? You... Yes, I'm still following. Okay. We need to hear also sometimes from you, you know? Okay. Yeah, it's... <laughs> Elliot, yes. is there something you want to add, in, like fun parameter in our um, These are uh, computer, I mean, these are like programming. Let's stuff. add a, um, hmm. add a, uh, Create a function that uh, pushes something to an array. Yeah, yeah. A function push to array <coughs> new value. <coughs> Console log. You may have to create an array first, but. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Well, uh, uh, don't push new value like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in this case, uh, we can call for some dot log. I can push to array, then pass it, uh, for example, hello, then uh, console it or the array, then we will see. And the array. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> uh, the same thing, this. Eh? It needs receipt. If it's really push or not. It needs the receipt one. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, now. Oh. Just X out. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, did it not do it again? I don't know. Why is it so fast? I mean, like. Okay, now we yeah. can see. Yeah, that. now it's working. Yeah, so. Push array, just pushing hello to array. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. We but just it, it uh, set up the. There's an empty. Array. There's an there's a null. I guess I don't know. Did you did you notice that when you did that? Uh yeah, that comma. Yeah, the comma before the hello. Yeah, it, it comes from here. The push to array. Uh, hi. When you now, in now. instantiated now, it. Now it's, now it's okay. <clears throat> I cannot see. I cannot see, see. I cannot see down here. Like five. Yeah, now it's fine. Oh, yeah. yeah. Can you see that? So yeah. Saying, hi. Nice. Yeah. What about <laughs> if we if we pass? Oh. Uh, multiple. Uh, Four, five, like this, and the function has only one variable uh, parameter. And when you are calling, you put more parameters. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I think uh, it can push maybe. Now we there is, for example, let's let's console out the new value. What's the new value? The new value will be like only high, only the first one. It will ignore mm -hmm. <laughs> the other. Huh? What if we say args? Do, do you know about this args? Oh, uh, for ES6? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, uh, this guy? Oh, it just broke down high. No. <laughs> yeah, it broke down high. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll get there though. We'll yeah, get there. we'll get there. 
Okay, so but, uh, yeah, I mean that's a good exercise yeah, from time to time. Just I want to see. I want to see. Yeah, now I want to see. Anybody else want to see something? Yeah, we have one. <laughs> huh? <coughs> Maybe try. What's another one you want to get practice with using? Uh, creating a function for something that we've gone over today. Ah, uh, yeah, a uh, pop. For example, would anybody else like to share screens and give it a try? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, let me co commit this one. I think did I commit it already? Are you well? Uh, would you like to give it a stab? Uh, maybe Mustin. Uh. Maybe it's yeah. <laughs> it's my first time, so I'm just following and then doing the same time the exercise. Okay, no problem. Uh, Mesfin, would you like to try? Yeah, let me try. Okay, Are, is this your screen? This is still Jamal. Uh, yeah, this is mine. Uh, do I have to stop it, right? Yeah, I think you have to stop sharing and then yeah. Mesfin will share his screen. Yeah, sure. I can. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll let you get off the hot seat. <laughs> <laughs> but, but good job. Yeah, but, thank uh, you. <laughs> see how it's different though when you're the one that's sharing your screen and you're walking through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a lot more, you're more engaged, you know, like. It's good that to get practice, you know, it's my first time. I don't yeah. know, maybe I messed up. <laughs> no, no, you did perfect. Like, that's what pair programming is. Like, we're like, it's as if we're like looking over your shoulder, you know, telling <laughs> you. But hey, what, try, what try I this, noticed try that. that, yeah, what I noticed is that you, when you are making it, you don't need, you, are, you don't wait for others to speak. Me, I have to constantly wait others to to speak to me. Otherwise, I feel like I'm alone. Okay. <laughs> yes, can you? Yeah, you get used to it. Yeah, yeah. We, can, we can see your screen, Mesfin. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah, get but, used to it. Well, I don't know what to do. Yeah. Were we so, on the ne we were on the next one though, weren't we? Uh, were we on this one? Let me see. Yeah, we're we on, did. We're on passing values to functions with argument. But if you want to do this one, if you haven't done this one, it would be good. That would be fine. No, it's down. Uh, where is after shopping list? Where is the shopping? List? Yeah, keep scrolling. Keep scrolling. Yeah, after this, go passing, to... Um, passing values to functions with... Uh, is that... Yeah, passing values to functions with argument. It's uh, below shopping list. Yeah, we did this now. Now we are in global <coughs> scope function. Passing values to functions with arguments. Yeah, I did that one. Yeah. Let's get through... Yeah, let's get through three more lessons and then we'll uh, we'll call it a day. Yeah. Uh, that should be a good stopping point. Yeah. So I'm ready, right? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, basic JavaScript, global scope and functions. In JavaScript, scope refers to the visibility of variables. Variables which are defined outside of a function block have global scope this means they can be seen everywhere in the javascript code variables which are used without the var keyword are automatically created in the global scope this can be created unintended consequences uh, Okay, sorry. Uh, uh, variables which are used without the var keyword are automatically created in the 
uh, in your call or when running a function again. You should always declare your variables with var. Uh, using var, declare a global variable. My goal, I think this is going to be our task, but do you guys have any issue here? Yeah, this is a topic I'm I'm always confused by. But yeah. Uh, especially when they start, they introduce ES6 and let and const. But one thing about var is var is all is considered as a global variable keyword, right? Right. right. Yeah. And that means if you once you assign a variable using this var keyword, that means that variable can be seen any everywhere in that in your code right so that's why now they come up with net and uh, const then they are think more secure and mm -hmm. like you have more control on your code this one is anything can happen uh, so let's try yeah let's give it a stand yeah okay declare your value here so far Using var declare a global variable, by global outside of any function, initialize it with a value. Okay, so we are outside of the function and the name. Okay. Inside the function, again, fun one assign five to the ops global without using var okay so we have another here and that's going to be five okay and what are we gonna do i think that's it so what happened now Huh? Yeah. yeah, I wonder why it didn't populate. Sorry? It, it should be it should be populating to the screen. Yeah, cop, copy copy your code and reset the code. <clears throat> yeah, copy okay. it. Yeah, copy all that and then Reset, reset all code, and then. Ah, do Okay, now. Nice. Hold on. Uh, it skipped ahead. Okay. Did that? Did you paste that in? You pasted in the new code. It should be. I'm putting something there. I think I. I oh, just copy everything, reset, then I can paste. Oh, try, try, try. Meeting is a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's down. Yeah. It. No, no, the yeah, first no. Now it was. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. showing up the my global 10 and my, and oops, global. Yeah. Oh. Uh, hmm? Yeah. Meeting? So it has, a, it, has a, it has an if else where, or it just has an if statement for those uh, those variables. If they're not, if they're if they're defined, <laughs> but if they're not defined, then they're not going to populate. It's <laughs> But yeah, I think that makes sense, though. Yeah, that, that means like even from the function two, we still can access that to the global <coughs> function and we change it here, right? Okay. Yeah, I, th I think I'm beginning to understand this now a lot better. Like, okay. after talking about this for a few days and then looking at this example again. Yeah. I'm not sure if I have that. But if we... So, for instance, if we wanted to use let or const, 
that would be block level, like. Well, yeah. Yeah, in this in this environment, they want it to be var, but yeah, it yeah. should work outside of this there. Oh. Interesting there. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if I have uh, the. What well, was if that? I mean, um, like to put on the git. Oh, uh, for your. Uh, yeah, repo. Sure. Your VS Code repo. Yeah. Uh, let's do like this. Uh, let me collect it in one area. Then, after the, the session, then I'll, I'll, I'll push it so then we don't have to worry. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so pass this one. Okay, look, scope and functions. Variables which are declared with a function as well as the function parameters have local scope. That means they are only visible within that function. Here is a function, my test, with a local variable called lock. Okay, function, and there's a function name, my test, and the local variable lock and string foo. Console lock. Um, this is var this this variable is a local scope, and now we have another. Okay, now we are calling the function here outside, and locks here. Console lock is not defined here because this is now we are outside this function, and we are trying to access that fun uh, this variable outside the function. So that means it's not defined. I think it makes sense, right? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we are trying to access this variable, which is inside a function. And we're trying to access that variable outside the function. And now the error is saying that it's undefined. So lock is not defined outside of the function. So declare a local variable, my var, let's do this way. Declare a local variable. You don't need to edit this line, okay. Declare local variable. So I think I'm using var, right? <laughs> My var. Yeah. yeah the just, test and then follow the instruction. No, just, uh, just yeah. semicolon, yeah. Like that. Okay. Then run. Hint to refresh the page may help if you get stuck. Run the test and then follow the instructions. Commented. Aha. Run and check the console. My var is not defined outside of my local scope. And yes, now remove the console log line to pass the test.
So what yeah. exactly? So in this function, we have this variable. And of course, we, have, we call this, func this variable inside the same function. And Do you guys understand what's going on here? Yeah, yeah. So what happened? So just, there is a local variable, my var, and yeah. then if you want, if you try to access my var outside the function, it should throw an error or it should throw undefined. Because Accessing means only, like we call the function here. So yes, that means we're like if you, for example, the console log outside the function, you, sh you shouldn't have to access it. For <clears throat> example, this one? Yeah, if you make it outside. Yeah, like this. Yeah, this should give you undefined. Yeah, of course. Yeah. This one, then. Yeah, because, because the variable is it's inside the function. Yes, and also it should give undefined for the inside the function because the variable is not defined. Uh, yeah, it's only. It's, it's, it's not defined. defined but it's assigned to a value. Uh, the value yeah, is so it give you undefined. Yeah. 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 Okay. That's clear. I think it's okay. Yeah. Mine's so, not responding for whatever reason. Though. Is every, is everybody else having that issue? Uh, what's not responding? Uh, the console in free code camp. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Nothing is outputting. Well, it was throwing the errors. Uh, uh -huh. uh, okay, there we go. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Hmm. Wow. Okay. So, but mine is, uh, it's still even outside the local scope, it's still calling the, my bar. Is it, is it not doing that for you? Uh, is it like you, <clears throat> you are calling that var outside the function like this? Yeah. Now I'm running here. <laughs> Like what I did was, uh, what I did was, uh, I set my bar equal to six and then. Okay. Uh, within, 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 uh, my local scope. Yeah. 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 In that like, case, the log will give you six and then the outside log will give you undefined. Yeah, you get only one error in that no, case. It, but it, it gave me six in both. Uh, it shouldn't be. Uh, you have that user strict on, right? No, you have to. Yeah. How come you get six? Because... Okay, let me put like this. Same, let me give value here. Six. Yeah. Mm, maybe should I do this uh, resetting? <laughs> I don't know. This one's kind of buggy or something. Yeah, kind of. Same thing. Uh, well, this if you take this to uh, to Chrome console, you will see that it's. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, uncounted. My var is not defined. Yeah, yeah. only one. What about if I? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, but anyway, 
now i should yeah. get to yeah uh, look uh, uh if you move the console the outside console below the function but if port, you can't if you cancel log my local scope then it would below. populate right yeah make this make make the console log below the function call okay. yeah the function log yeah that one below the yes below now make it below the my uh, below the function. Uh, I want it. Okay. Yeah, that one. Cut it and then press it. Uh, shift enter. Yeah. Then now it will give undefined and error. Yes. The undefined comes from the function call. And then the error comes from the log. If you assign my var to six, now we get six and an error. You can say inner. Or yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, now console one is undefined. That means, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, because my, my var is not. Uh, now, console log my local scope. Sorry? Con console log my local scope function. The function yeah. my local scope console line. Yeah. Just write my 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 local scope here. Just write it here. Write my local scope. Yeah. Without without Check. running. Just just run it. No, without function. Yeah, it will give you the function itself. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a function, of course. Yeah, if you run it, it will give you uh, assign, a, assign a value to my bar six. For example, yeah. Assi assign something like a string or a number to it within the function. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then this will give you six and error. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Neat. Okay. What if what if uh, what if uh, there is no var keyword on my var, like only the var keyword? Okay. Let's see that one as well. So you have only var. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No var, but we have this. Yeah, just like that. Okay. So. What do you guys? What do you guys think? What will dance? It will give it. I think it will. It will take it as a variable. I feel like that. Yeah, but you have to comment the use strict. Comment, comment use strict. This one. Yeah, comment. Yeah. Now, what do you guess? Now it. Yes. Now it takes as a variable. Yeah. Now um, I was wrong. Now it will take it as a var, like it's a variable. So, what will give you the two consoles? What will be the value of the two consoles? It will, uh, I think it will give six, six, pause. Uh, the first one, uh, definitely it is six, but for the second console, second, it should give you six, yeah. <laughs> so you want really? to me? Okay, come on. Write, write it. I guess. Yeah, six, six. <laughs> Do you know why? The reason? Well, I can see because now we don't have that user strict. It's not strict anymore. Yeah, it doesn't matter because you know that uh, function uh, variables are local scoped, right? But in this case. 
the my var it didn't have the keyword var so javascript engine will take it as a global variable and put it outside the my my local scope that's why we are accessing it outside the function oh okay yeah i think yeah i read it already on the previous yeah, yeah. so if you don't have the var keyword then yeah, it, will be, it will be, it will be global. global even if yeah. it's in the local local variable yeah, it doesn't matter it doesn't matter where you are yeah yeah it will be globally scoped it will be scoped to the global yeah well we'll take it <laughs> okay let's do, huh? let's do the next one. one and then we'll call it a day yeah that would be the this should be the last it's, uh, one. it's easter sunday so i'm I'm needing to get ready for. Yeah. Uh, is this working or what is that? No, well, just comment out the console. Yeah. Yeah, now, now run it. Yeah, there you go. All right. Let's take a look at this one. Global versus local scope in functions. If you need, uh, I, I can read this one. Yeah, if you can do that, please. Yeah, I know how it goes with children. Yeah. It's not always easy. <laughs> so should I stop the sharing? Yeah, go ahead and I'll share. Okay. All right. <clears throat> and make sure. Yeah. Okay. It is possible to have both local and global variables with the same name. When you do this, the local variable takes precedence over the global variable. In this example, var sum var equals the string hat function my fun with var sum var equals head return some bar the function my fun will return head because the local version of the variable is present add a local variable to my outfit return or my outfit function to override the value of outerwear with sweater okay so outerwear Bar outerwear equals sweater. All right. So now I don't know if I don't need to console this. Yeah, so sweater. But then if we console log it outside, then outerwear will be different. It will be t-shirt. So when it's within the function, the scope, the local scope of the function, it's sweater. But then anywhere outside globally, it's t-shirt so yeah i think this is starting to make a lot more sense for me yeah okay all right i'm gonna run the test <clears throat> yes. yeah me, before could, what if uh, <laughs> yeah. what was that yeah before that what if we if you uh if you remove the var keyword in the inside the function oh if you remove it 
Yeah, yeah, go to the three court camp. Yeah, one moment. Yeah. Okay, one moment, sorry. I may need to uh, yeah. uh, finish for the day soon, but... Um, okay. All right. I'll have to I have to finish up for today. I okay, think yeah. yeah, I think this is a good stopping point. Cuz tomorrow we can mm -hmm. begin with functions again and returning values. But um yeah. So let's start here tomorrow. I'm going to make this the note in my code. Okay, start at lesson. Oh. oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let me get the snippet. But, okay, put this in. Okay. All right. Well, that will, I guess, conclude the study hours for today. Um, happy Easter to everybody out there. I'm sure it's it's still Easter for you, right, in Finland? Yeah. Yes. It's evening time. Yes. Mm. But uh, yeah, happy Easter to you guys. Oh, thank you. Same to you. Uh, so we are meeting on React, right? Yeah, we'll meet later uh, for React. Um, it'll be morning for you then, right? It'll be mm -hmm. Monday. Yeah, six okay. thirty in the morning. Okay. All right then. Thanks. Yeah, um, and uh, feel free to share anything that you're reading within the chat, and uh, just keep us posted on your progress. Okay. But uh, and keep. Uh, Keep thinking of like uh, project ideas that we want to do for JavaScript. Uh, I think that would be good to try some new things. But uh, anyhow, I'll talk to you guys later. All right. Okay. Thank All you. right. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye.